Hi everyone and welcome back to another edition of Cat Chat. All right, so today we're talking about another one of my most favorite new sustainable products. And it's not one that you would normally think of as needing to be sustainable, but as I move through my life, I'm trying to find more and more areas of my life where I can replace um, when, I, when I'm getting ready to replace things, to replace it with something that's more sustainable. So today we are going to be talking about my hairbrush. So a while back I was brushing my hair and I realized that a lot of the um, bristles were falling out and starting to tear in places and um, I really needed to replace it. So I decided I'm going to start trying to look for a sustainable brush. So in my search I found two different uh, brushes. One was 100% compostable and that was made of bamboo and everything was made of either bamboo or wood or um, it was all um, compostable. But the reviews on it were not great, um, kind of very mixed. Some people said it was really good, more people said it was it was okay, but there was quite a few people that, that had some complaints about it. So anyway, I ended up continuing my search and I found this. Um, it is by Fiora, which is a family owned business, a small family business um, out of San Diego, California. And um, this one is 99% compostable and biodegradable. So here's what it looks like. Um, it's kind of cool because it has this design that's that's a spiral and it's and it moves, which is great when you're brushing your hair because it just feels like a massage. It's just, you know, kind of moves with your head. And the, the reason for that design is it's mostly meant for detangling your hair. So if you have hair that's really a tangled mess, um, this is a great brush for it. Um, uh, the website talks about, you know, it getting through hair without tank, you know, Pain free. So this can be great for your kids that have tangled hair. It's actually um, good for all types of hair, straight hair, curly hair, fine, thick, um, all types of hair. Um, and it's also good for wet and dry brushing, which is a little unusual because most brushes are typically made for dry brushing your hair. So this is good for both. Um, it's anti-static and it does come in different colors. Um, there's two different designs too. Um, besides this one, there's one that looks kind of like a tree in the back. And that one is a little bit less flexible. Um, I didn't buy that one, but reading the designs, um, uh, reading, I'm sorry, reading the reviews on the designs, um, this one was more flexible. And so that's why I wanted to get this one. And it does feel really good as you're brushing your hair. Um, it has a nice ergonomic design handle. And so this, what this is made of is plant starch. This is 99% um, biodegradable, like I said, so most of it is made of plant starch. The only part that's not biodegradable is of course the nylon bristles. Um, but this uh, will decompose in your compost bin in one year um, and in the landfill in five years. Um, of course, we know that plastic never decomposes and it'll be in the landfill forever. Um, so what I'm going to be doing with my plastic brush is, first of all, you can get a little bit more life out of it by either using it as a pet brush or you can donate it to a vet or a pet rescue or something like that and they can get a little bit more use out of it as well. Um, so consider doing that um, before um, throwing it in the trash. Um, that's what I'll be doing. Um, and then this is also anti-static and lots of different colors. So um, with all that said, let's go ahead and take a quick look at what it looks like when you're actually using it and how it, how it looks and feels. Okay, I'm just out of the shower here. I haven't done anything but take my hair out of the towel and we're gonna try out the brush. So let's see how it goes through wet hair. Oh, it's very good. No tangles at all. Well, that feels nice. Yeah, it's not even like dragging or pulling at all. Boy, that is good. Yeah, no tangles at all. That feels good. All right, that is a winner for me. That's great. Okay, we're back and okay, I know I look scary, but I purposely took some time to really mess up my hair and really, I teased it and I messed it and fluffed it and did all sorts of things to put some knots in it. So let's take our brush and let's see how it goes. 
So, so far so good, but this side I didn't do as much with. This side in the back, I put quite a few knots back there. So it does say to start at the bottom, work your way up, but it's not, I'm not getting resistance at all. It is just smoothing through. And let me tell you, <laughs> I did a lot of teasing and a lot of knot making back there. Boy, that, that works splendid. Not even a tiny bit of discomfort. That's amazing. I was afraid that was gonna hurt a little bit. All right, well, works great on dry hair. Awesome. All right, so there you have it. If you find yourself in the market for a new hairbrush, this is your guy. I love this brush. Seems very sturdy. I'm sure I'll be using it for years and years to come. I did get it on Amazon for $9.99. It's a little less expensive on Amazon than it is on their website. Um, on the website, it was $14.99. Of course, they have uh, various designs, as I mentioned, in different colors um, on Amazon and on their website. And their website also has lots of other um, hair products, uh, shampoos and conditioners and things that you'd be welcome to check out. Uh, the link I'm gonna drop in the description is for the Amazon link where I got it. Um, if you use it, I appreciate it. That helps me out a little bit. And that's gonna wrap it up for another edition of Cat Chat for today. <clears throat> so if you found this to be helpful, uh, this video, please like and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. All right, until next time, I hope you all have an amazing day. You know you deserve it. Mwah.